Okay, guys, welcome to part two of Charlie's Edition, The Joy of Gay Sex Theories. Of course, I'm returning it today. Thank you very much. But, um, welcome to part two. And just before I get into talking about water sports, which some people know about and some people don't know about, I wanted to bring back the penis book. Yes, I started uh, bringing the penis book into this um, show months ago and I haven't really got through it. So I'm going to talk about this subject right before I get on to the water sports. And this subject is based on underwear. And we know that a lot of gay folk, um, even straight folk, can be obsessed with men in underwear. Just like men are, can be obsessed with women in panties. Yes, certain underwears look good on certain men and look so hot and you're just like oh my god I just want to tear those underwears off right now so yeah but I think one of the most famous underwears that guys gay guys like to wear are what they call jock straps and I'll show you a picture the jock strap oh yeah look at that bulge And so now I'm going to read to you guys a little information about the jock strap. The average male will own six drops jock straps from ages 12 to 60. Remember the embarrassment of asking dad to buy your first jock strap for gym class? Gotta protect those testicles, son, came a fatherly reply as he handed over a contraption that would add its tantalizing banquet to your locker for the rest of the year. And to use jock straps, you're not alone. The web search athletic supporters is filled with athletic recyclers who like them with a sweaty pedigree. Testicles pack the greatest concentration of nerves in the male body. The smartest athlete sports a hard protective cup inside his jock or it takes a softer approach with a flexible cup or compression performance shorts the biggest challenge getting school age players to wear something more protective than ball jangling boxer shorts jock straps have been around since 19 or 1874 the bike web manufacturing company engineered an athletic supporter to provide le relief for bicycle jockeys tortured by the uh, cobblestone streets of Boston. The bike jockey strap soon became known as the jock strap, and the business of genital protection was off and running. Good news, gals! Salvi manufacturers are now featuring female protective cups to designed to prevent injuries to your pelvic region. Current color, white, Victoria's Secret, take note. So that was just some information about the famous jock strap, y'all. Thought that'd be some interesting news to uh, elaborate on. Also, I wanted to show you guys this. And now he's tiny and soft like a little bud of life. And here's a picture. It looks like a rose, right? But it's a penis. Okay. <laughs> very interesting. So I thought I'd just share a little more information about out of this fabulous book. And of course, every time I do um, a Joy of Gay Sex series, I will read something out of that. So now we are turning to water sports, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, for those of you who are freaky, for those of you who are experienced or maybe not experienced, whatever the case may be, I'm sure you've heard this term once in your lifetime or read it somewhere or seen it or whatever. Um, one person who's a celebrity actually did it. I don't want to say a name because I don't want to get in trouble or anything. But he peed on this girl. And um, even if it wasn't intentional, this is what you would say is a water sport. So let me read about it, y'all. First of all, let me show you this picture. guy paint all over the other guy's face. Okay. Alright. Now,
Now, I'm sure I've talked about this on my YouTube, but this is one of the subjects I wanted to go back over. So, water sports. Not boating or skiing off the back of a motor launch, but guys pissing on each other or drinking each other's piss is water sports. Another term for pissing or being pissed on is golden shower. And the person who prefers this activity to all others in sex is often called a golden, a golden shower queen. So for those of you who like that, that is your new name, golden shower queen, alright? Giving and receiving enemas is another, if less common, aspect of water sports. Drinking piss is not harmful unless pathogenic bacteria are in the urine. It can be harmful if you have a compromised immune system because of a disease like cancer or HIV. Only a small percentage of gay men go for water sports regularly. Indeed, few men, few gay men are attracted to them at all. Nevertheless, the appeal isn't hard to fathom. Those who enjoy it explain it this way. You can usually come only twice or three times a night, but you can piss dozens of times. Even so, few enjoy drinking highly concentrated toxic urine retained in the body for many hours. But if guys drink a lot of fluids, their urine will be plentiful and not bitter. Pissing of any sort is unlikely to be a way to start off an evening, but sometimes two men will get together for a long session of cock sucking, and once they can no longer have orgasms or produce cum, they'll move into water sports. The internet is a great place to find men into water sports. There are also regular meetings of men into it. For the slave, in an S&M scene, being pissed on or drinking his master's piss is a form of humiliation he enjoys. The piss is seen as a gift from the master's body. For vanilla gays offended by S&M, this seems too kinky, but there is an erotic logic to it. And guys, remember, that term vanilla, I've talked about it right here on my YouTube page. Go back in my videos, look up uh, Joy of Gay Sex Vanilla, and you will know exactly what that means. Regarding enemas, to some, the idea of having a sex partner administer an enema is exciting. The sensation of a liquid being repeatedly and forcefully squirted inside their ass could feel like being fucked over and over and then literally flooded with cum. Guys into enemas have their own favorite size of shapes and even forms of enema tube to be inserted inside them, as well as favorite liquids to be squirted from the simplest warm water to coffee, soft drinks, their partner's piss, even expensive wines. However, using alcoholic drinks in large qualities, no one knows how large, can lead to death as alcohol is quickly observed. Also be advised that excessive flushing of the colon may damage it. So, there you go ladies and gentlemen, that, that's water sports and straight people get into it too. There's a lot of guys who um, like to piss all over the girls tits and all that stuff. I personally would not do that. It's just weird, but whatever. Well, it's not weird, but, well, I don't know. Some people might think it's weird, but whatever. So, that's water sports, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so coming up on the third and final part of Charlie's Edition, the Joy of Gay Sex series, we are going to talk about wrestling. Wrestling. Wrestling wrestling insects so stay tuned to part three y'all